welcome to the 11th topic of bong tech solution and in today's video i will be explaining how to control your mosfet with the help of the signal from your arduino so what you know already the mosfet is a 3 pin semiconductor device which can control the current passing through it that is the drain current with the help of its gate voltage that is the external electric field so simply if we can by any means control the gate voltage in the mosfet then we will be able to control the huge amount of the current from the drain which is passing through the our set of leds or through the high current consuming device like that of the johnson motor and so that we can beam the leds or put it on or off that is switching or we can control the speed of our johnson motors so that's too much simple we have to apply some analog signal in the gate terminal of our mosfet and that will be from our Arduino. But there the difficulty is the Arduino cannot produce any real analog signal. In return, it produces a PWM signal that is the pulse width modulated signal. And we can call it a pseudo analog signal. So now the question arises, what is a PWM signal? Now, since the Arduino cannot produce any analog signal, it does the same with the help of the digital signal. So now there comes a term, the duty cycle. Now, if for a complete cycle, let it for take it for one second. If the digital signal is put on for 50 times and again put off for another 50 times in cyclically like this in a box pattern, then if we integrate it for one cycle, we can get the average 2.5 and that is the duty cycle. That is the time it's put on in one cycle divided by the time total time it's put off and plus the total time it's uh, put on into 100 so in our 50 percent duty cycle we can get the voltage to uh, 2.5 and similarly in 25 percent duty cycle we can get 1.25 volt so in by using this pwm signal we can get any analog value in our gate voltage so let's continue to the circuit the circuit is ultra simple the ground the negative of the battery and the source of the mosfet are sorted the pin from the arduino with pwm output is connected to the gate and the drain is connected to the battery across the johnson motor now let's take a look on the switching program in this program we are putting on the circuit for two seconds and again putting off the circuit for another two seconds The program is same and we are now switching this motor. It's being put on for 2 seconds and off for 2 seconds. Now we will be using this program to vary the drain current cyclically. We will be increasing the drain current to the maximum value and after reaching the maximum value it will stand for two seconds and then again decrease to the minimum value and then again take a delay for two seconds and we'll continue this cyclically now the same circuit is there but we have changed the program and the program is same as that of the speed control now i am using it to as a led dimmer The same program is being uploaded for the Johnson motor. So what I have done is replace the set of LEDs with this Johnson motor. It's the same program is same as that of the LED dimmer. The speed is increasing and decreasing cyclically. So let's recapitulate what we have learned today. At first the MOSFET, the MOSFET is a 3-pin semiconductor field effect transistor which can control the current passing through it, that is the drain current, by varying the gate voltage at any constant drain voltage. And then the PWM signal, that is the duty cycle. And then we have learned how to switch the MOSFET. And in the second program, we have learned how to control the speed of our motor 
so if you like the video then please subscribe me and give a like and if you want to suggest something to me then please write that in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching the video till last